What's up everyone? Finally putting another video out. I know it's been a while. Sorry about that. Uh, been kind of out of the turtle game lately. Um, a little collecting here and there, a couple pickups. Not really much to speak about, but um, got a few collection videos for you today. Um, some pretty cool looking stuff. Uh, one from Cowabunga Kid uh, and another undisclosed collector, but we've got the inside uh, scoop and uh, we'll be checking him out. And then I've got another uh, thing I wanted to talk about. So uh, a couple videos back, I put one out about uh, Slash and the different variants. And uh, there was one mystery one, Yellow Belly with the black belt. Um, I had a picture and that was about all. Um, but now I found someone who actually has one. Uh, Krang's Collectibles has uh, a yellow belly slash with the black belt. So uh, it is confirmed they are out there. He knows of um, one other one. Uh, so there is at least two. Uh, but let's go ahead, take a look at that real quick, and then we'll go ahead and jump into these collection videos. All right, guys, here it is straight from the collector, uh, Krang's Collectibles. He uh, obtained this yellow belly slash from a, I guess, uh, some sort of vintage store in Miami, um, of all places. And uh, yeah, he said that he just came across it and he just could not believe um, that he saw it. So he had to snatch it up and it was graded. Um, so I don't know if this is the one from the picture or not. Um, this one, the bubble's a little bit yellower, but I mean, that picture that I had could have been from a while back. So I don't know. Uh, this one here is a 70 plus. So, so, like I said, Cranks Collectibles did say that he knows of at least one other person that has a yellow belly black belt slash. Um, so that's at least two. Um, I don't know if that would uh, count as a official variant, um, but I'm leaning towards that way. So I'm going to be on the lookout for one of these. These things are super cool. Um, but yeah, thank you again, Cranks Collectibles, for this video. And man, good find. All right, guys, let's get to these collections. Up first, we've got Cowabunga Kid 24. And man, right off the bat, we've got some really nice looking cabinets absolutely displayed perfectly. And real quick, just wanted to apologize, Cowabunga Kid. I know he gave me this video of his awesome collection really long time ago, and I've been kind of sitting on it. Uh, so my apologies, man. Uh, but I'm glad that I can finally get this amazing collection out there for all the collectors to see. And of course, we're starting here with the Wacky Wild West series, one of my all-time favorite lines. So cool. Um, I also have this line completed, not uh, graded uh, and displayed quite this nicely, but uh, man, yes. Oh, here we go, Dr. L. Okay, what do we got back there? 85, man, very, very nice figure. All right, let's jump up to the next row here and talk about some crowd favorites here. We've got the Apollo line. These things are so hard to find uh, for one, and for two, to find them with clear bubbles is almost impossible. These things are always yellow, but not these ones. These ones look fantastic with some great lighting on them so you can really see those details. Absolutely incredible. And over here, oh my gosh, what do we got up here? We've got Warriors of the Forgotten Sewer, all of them on card. Man, that Rocksteady is so hard to find. Uh, man, just an absolutely great figure. Um, I still haven't uh, got any of these on card. I know I, I had a Dwarf Dawn for a little while, but I ended up selling on Whatnot. Um, again, if, any on, if anybody on here is not on Whatnot yet, uh, please sign up, go on there. Um, and get you some good deals on Turtles. They have a lot of great sellers on there. And uh, like I said, you can get some great deals. All right, we've got Hose Them Down Dawn here. And we've got the one, we got the teal boots. So there's two different versions of that one. They got the teal boots and then the bright green boots. Another just super hard line to find. Uh, the Adventurer line, we've got Deep Sea, Diving Leo, and 85 overall. We've got Safari Mike over here. Um, just a great figure as well. Another 85. Man, oh man, these things are so nice looking. All right, and the coolest one of them all, Arctic Dawn. Um, what is this, 85? Oh my God, all 85s across the board. Man, this is incredible. What do we got next? Antrax. 
super cool figure, a lot of cool accessories. Um, man, are these all 85s? Unbelievable. Monty Moose, uh, one of my favorite figures. I have to get him on card still. I don't have him. 85 again. Hothead, I do have this one. Um, very hard uh, figure to find on card in good condition. Man, this guy, man, he's got just some great... Well, here we go. Here we go. We've got the... Delta Dawn with the white or cream belt, whatever you want to say. I did a video on those guys a while back. Um, kind of blew them up a little bit. Um, sorry about that for anybody that's looking for them now. Price has gone up. Regular Delta Dawn looking pretty cool as well. Um, but I do like that, uh, that white belt. On to Mutant Military Cavalry Leo. Another one of my favorite figures. 85 on that one too. Wing Nut and Screw Loose. Man, I don't know what it is about that one, but every time I see those ones, that one's got a yellow bubble too, man. I don't know. I don't know why. I see, what do we got in the back back here? King Lionheart. Definitely no slouch figures on this guy's shelf. King Lionheart. And on the back here, on back side here, we've got Murdude. Just another set of two great figures. All right, and moving on to Scale Tail. I recently added this guy to my collection. So happy to have him. I don't know if he's an 85, but uh, I am pretty happy to have him. Worm, another great, fantastic figure. Um, he is definitely a crowd favorite. Everyone loves that guy. Uh, they don't like collecting his worms, though. Those are hard to find. Uh, Sandstorm, um, he, yeah, I, I like Sandstorm a lot. Um, I don't know why, but his uh, popularity dipped a little bit as of late. Half Court, though, not so much. That guy is always, always selling hot. Everyone loves Half Court. And, uh, I mean, what's there, you know, what's there not to like? Especially that one at an 85. Oh, man, oh, man. Scratch and Hotspot. Oh, man, my two, two of my favorites. I don't know why Scratch always gets so much hate. I feel like it's, like, people that, you know, don't have Scratch. <laughs> they, need, they feel compelled to hate on them. But an 85 for Scratch over there, man, that is incredible. Hotspot, another one of my favorite figures, just because I own Dalmatians. Um, but yeah, another 85. Okay, so apparently this guy only collects 85s. Probably should have picked up on that uh, way before now. All right, and the last one on this shelf is Mona Lisa. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, the Shoguns. Man, these things, everyone's trying to scoop these up. Man, these are fantastic. Card and coin. Whew. Man, these things are great. And just some side info on Cowabunga Kid. He's been collecting uh, on card for about 10 years. Um, his lifelong goal, even as a kid, he would tell his friends that when he grew up and became an adult, um, he was going to be getting all of these turtles and have them behind glass on display for everyone to, to see. And man, I guess this guy followed his dreams, man, because... Uh, these things are definitely on display behind glass, and man, he could not have picked any cooler figures. I mean, look at that one. Good lord. White jersey Dawn. That thing on card. Holy moly. Oh, there's an 80, but for that one, I'll cut him some slack. Those ones were pretty hard to find. And to top off the collection, he just recently added this graded Chef Boyardee shredder. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this one right here is definitely one of my favorites as well. And to have him graded and on display like this is absolutely incredible. Just fantastic looking. I love this figure, and to have him like that is so cool. Thank you again, Cowabunga Kid. I appreciate you sending the videos. And uh, again, I apologize. Thank you again. All right, next up is the undisclosed TMNT collector. This is an inside scoop secret camera footage of his collection. Uh, yes, I had to slow it down a little bit so that we could pick up on everything. And uh, so excuse the slowness of the camera, but if, if it would have played at regular speed, it would have been super blurry and you wouldn't have been able to see anything. Um, if that secret TMNT uh, collector comes forward um, and says that he wants me to say his name, then by all means, I will um, say it. Um, but I had to go ahead and show this collection. It is just too incredible to hold on to this footage. Um, I just had to put it out there. I mean, and as you can see, I mean, holy moly, all this carded stuff, box stuff. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, 
it's literally like almost the entire toy line and it's displayed super perfectly you even got the movie three stuff which i mean yeah I don't, you know to each their own um we got cookie crisp with the cups the bowls loose bowls gosh and i don't know if you saw those prototypes in the middle we've got easter egg baskets here's the food section we've got the mints we've got the the little stickers that went on the glass windows oh there's the prototypes oh man how cool would that be to have that many prototypes these things look great um man gosh i mean it's like you know i know you can pay big money for these and get them and stuff like that Ooh, that box technodrome back there but it's like man how does somebody come across all these prototypes do they just pick cough up big money and just buy them like that i mean i've seen them go for you know two thousand three thousand i don't know maybe you bought them in bulk but that was one that was just one room that was all his card and stuff and then over here we've got oh more card and stuff um okay okay we got the loose ones up in front we got all the 10 backs over here foot soldier shredder bebop man let's see here okay we got the on the on the on the tree still on display right there that's pretty cool got the movie stars all right, and also I just wanted a little disclaimer. The reason why some of the footage is uh, kind of cut off and stuff like that, it was filmed uh, vertically, so I had to kind of resize it and stuff like that. So some of it is cut off, and I apologize about that. But like I said, I had to get this secret footage out there for everyone. So this is as good as it's going to get. Um, more NECA stuff. Man, look at that. All on display. All great. Great collection, whoever you are. All right, guys, a couple more collection videos there for you. I mean, how cool did those things look? Gives you a little bit uh, to kind of think about, uh, especially displaying. Those cases looked fantastic. Uh, spend a little extra money, get the right cases, put them all on display, you know, like that. They just There's just something about it, you know, as opposed to kind of getting the old thumbtack and kind of putting them on the wall like some people. Um, but, you know... Um, Thanks again, Cowabunga Kid 24 Check him out on Instagram. Um, I mean, give him a follow. Tell him, uh, tell him, you know, Shellback sent you. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, hopefully I can put some more videos out soon. Um, I just kind of, like, ran out of content. I don't know. I mean, just talking about TMNT. Like I said, I haven't really been collecting too much. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.